Close this is dependent drop downs without script. And let's see, let's select Earth. Next step will show us mainland from Earth. And it should be Europe and what we entered earlier. And all this made with formula, no script solution. Let's select Europe. Then Britain, France, Italy, or Greece. And okay, let it be Britain and London. And as you see, there are some options that are incorrect. So I can enter the incorrect value, but my list shows the tip first. So first options are correct, and then I have this intermediate value. And that means that I can enter correct value from this list. Okay. And uh, also, if I delete this and create new country, Ukraine, and now I have no options for this country yet, and I'll also want to add new city, Odessa. And as you see, my list is created fine without errors. And next level. I see Ukraine in my list now. And let's select Ukraine and add another city. So this is the first type of list and this column A is just helper column for key. We don't need it. This list works with four dependent lists created manually and we'll see how it works later and let me show the second option the second option is to use column a which was hidden i, I hidden it and you see uh, earth euro britain london is the unique key of these four columns i selected earlier i will edit odessa and Lviv, and let's add some metrics also it's optional and go to sheet code work and as you see uh, i have only one column here one column and i uh, let's add my city that i've created earlier odessa and planet mainland country and city are entered and all this made by simple split formula and i also had hidden column with metrics and it gives me the correct metrics for this. I'll change it. And on my worksheet, I also have the correct option. So I suggest two options here. The first is to, cre to create this dependent list separately, and it will cr let you create any option. Yes. So you can create, you can select incorrect option but it will show you tips first the correct variants are first and the second option is to use this generated key use it as dependent drop down and then all your columns are generated by the formula okay now let's see how it works let's start from sheet code data these all are just dependent list data, data validation, and I show warning, I allow incorrect values. And it is from sheet calc, I mistyped it, sheet should go to calc, or calculations, and see again, and these are just four columns with mainly list set data validation for the whole column and the formula is here the formula on sheet calc and uh, the first line is the values were selected in the last column tatooine and some values yes and you see all these values from the last line here this is needed because my dependent tips works only for the last line. The last line was that was entered by user. And the first 
line here on sheet calc just shows it and it uses index of columns b c d and e just columns with my list b c d and e next it uses max and filter row which shows the last not empty row when that data b through b is not empty not equals empty and next this first list with first planet earth and tatooine is just a unique list unique of b to b from sheet data next list is unique of first filter data c when data b equals a1 equals tatooine it's okay and next all column c and we got to these values and get unique of them an intermediate value is dash next the same formula just we can just copy this formula to the right and with some corrections i need to add this condition data b to b equals a here and i need to add these two conditions to the last list here and that's that's okay that's it that's all we need to create these tips and next you just enter values first values have no tips of course and the next values will have tips because you have entered something so when we enter new we get new tips let's see i've also I've, I've entered europe and i have country ukraine in europe and have my two cities here so uh, when i enter new values i get new tips for my list but it works only for the last row and it allows user to enter incorrect values this value is incorrect but the list is okay but it works very easy you need no scripts and it works very easy for you and next the sheet code work it works with this key i've generated a key with single array formula key filter and this is key generation yes and next this is a drop down data data validation and it rejects input so it can you can't enter incorrect here so i've entered ukraine here and i want to change this country to britain i'll double click this first and then hit britain and i have my tips so if i double click some cell i've got new tips let's change this italy rome to Odessa, Ukraine. Double click, delete Italy, type Ukraine and see Odessa and Lviv. So I can re enter new values and I don't have an option to enter incorrect value. So this, this option for you is to create a list in one cell and you can't mistake here. And this option is more easy, but you have separate columns to enter. That's it. Thank you.